I'm here at Tweed Heads. Come down to have a look at the surfers. It's a beautiful day. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I wonder what it was like thousands of years ago before modern technology, before man had a clue about the, the, the earth and the universe. And there would have been a time when they would have looked out onto the open ocean and they looked at the line that separated the sky from the ocean and they would have formed an opinion as to why that was. And as we know, there are their ideas um, included that the earth was flat and that if you sail out far enough, you fall off the edge. And really, uh, they didn't have much other choice than to form those kinds of opinions because they were very restricted in their vision. Uh, it was only by the naked eye. They had no understanding that what they were looking at was the horizon, that the earth was rotating, and that it was also orbiting a star, that that star was one of millions of stars in this Milky Way galaxy, and that the Milky Way galaxy is one of millions of galaxies in the universe. And so they formed a, their opinions based on their limited vantage point in space and time. We do the same thing today. It's true that man has progressed a lot in the last few thousand years, particularly the last hundred years, and we know, know so much more about the universe, about the Earth. Uh, we've worked out the orbits of the planets in the solar system, etc. We know that the Milky Way galaxy it comes to an end and that, that there is vast uh, open space beyond that, and that beyond that there are millions of other galaxies. Yet, we are still trapped in a tiny vantage point in space and time. And there's one other, there's one other factor, and that's uh, our ability to comprehend things. So really, how far have we come? And the question is, have we arrived at a position in space and time? And intelligence where we can safely say that we have a clear understanding of how this universe got here, that it came by natural causes, or that there was a designer responsible for it. Neil Tyson asked the question he said he wondered if we are just too, simply too stupid to comprehend the universe. Scientists tell us that the universe is some 14 billion years old. And to get some kind of idea of just how long that is, imagine that we took a piece of rope, we put the start of the rope just here at that rock, and we go for a walk, so let's do that. One hundred and two, hundred and three, hundred and four, hundred and five, hundred and six, hundred and seven, hundred and eight, hundred and nine, hundred and ten. That's about hundred and ten meters from that rock to here. It's about the length of a football field here in Australia. So if, imagine that we have a timeline going 110 metres from that rock to where I'm standing now, and that timeline represents the entire history of the universe, where along that timeline would human history begin? Well, if my foot is at the end of that timeline, if I were to pluck the human hair from my head and place it in front of my foot, that would represent human history, the width of that human hair. Scientists also tell us that the universe is some 150 billion light years in diameter. 
that's an incredible amount of distance. When you think of those two components of time and distance, or space, and our relative location in time and space, it kind of gives you an idea of just how futile it is for us to try and comprehend the universe, in particular to rule out the idea that there could be an intelligence responsible for it. We can't find evidence for God before the beginning of the universe any more than scientists can find evidence for what caused the Big Bang. But we can find evidence for God or for a creator in the design of the universe and what we see from our tiny vantage point in space and time. Notice I didn't say proof. Evidence is open to interpretation. that's the case and I have to ask if we can't rule out intelligent design based on what we know why do we take it off the table why is the entire education system geared toward natural uh, explanations or material explanations to the universe hey, biogenesis, biological evolution, chemical evolution cosmic evolution what are they afraid of there is an intelligent designer it could also be that this intelligent designer has nothing whatsoever to do with any of man's concepts of who God is it could be something entirely different many atheists scientists will tell you that they're not, uh, they don't rule out the possibility of intelligent design or of God, but they really only give the idea lip service or token service. They don't really uh, do any serious investigation into the concept. And that's really my beef. Uh, why not give it some more thought? 